Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of DBS Nav Ask Me Anything and I'm super excited for today's episode because it's in honour of International Women's Day. That's right Kelly. So today we are going to talk about the unique challenges that women face in making financial decisions. We will break them down in detail for you. Fantastic, sounds great so let's dive right in. So when it comes to managing finances from a woman's point of view, there is no one glass slipper that will fit everybody, right? And it'll be interesting to see perspective-wise, my opinions versus your opinions, how they match or how they might differ. First question, what does financial independence mean to you? For me, Kelly, financial independence really means people are empowered to make their decisions freely and, and empowerment comes in the form of knowledge, um, also the means, meaning do they have sufficient savings or money set aside to make these decisions. So for example, if I would like to buy a house or upgrade a house, I would like to take sabbatical, uh, I have a personal uh, aspiration of wanting to become a chef, I can set aside time and money to learn how to upgrade myself. To be able to make this decision freely is what I call financial independence. I like it, so we can go and eat at Evie's Kitchen very, very soon. For me though, financial independence, quite similarly, is knowing that with all the loans that we have for our house and for children's education and all of that, we still have the ability to live our life the way we want to. We work so hard and for what, right? We need to be able to make sure that we can enjoy our lives to the fullest as well. Yes, couldn't agree more. This one's a little bit of a loaded one. What do you think affects women the most when it comes to managing finances? The general observation we have is really sometimes women have a lot of fear and I think that really boils down to really having the knowledge to make the right decisions for themselves. This kind of fear actually translates into lower risk so women tend to pick lower risk products. We should try to overcome the fear by getting the knowledge, getting the right resources to help us make this decision. I myself am risk averse and I think it just comes down to the fact that I, I just don't have that knowledge and therefore I'm not comfortable to be trying to make those decisions. But that's why I think conversations like this are so important. I mean, you're actually gleaning knowledge from experts like yourself, Evie, and we're actually able to learn so much more about what else we can do, right? Yep. Okay, Evie, we're going to play a little game. Are you ready? Yes. Awesome. It's called Never Have I Ever. Basically, we're going to be issued with a statement and we'll have to answer that I have or I have never using these paddles. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't judge me like that. It was crypto, everyone was buying it. I kind of had to, right? I had to check a chance. I'm not judging you, many people did it. <laughs> but going forward, please learn before you invest. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you have? Yes, <gasps> I do. What was it? Luxury shoes. Ooh. Or nice shoes, or shoes that I dream to have. I have never, simply because I don't regret the things I buy. Never. Of course not, of course not. <laughs> She's the brains behind GPS, of course not. My husband takes, takes most of the decisions, but through Evie's conversation and everything I've learned here today, of course I'm going to take a more empowered approach and start learning up, right? I strongly encourage you to do so. Okay, where do I sign up? Go to NEF. Start learning. It's time to address your burning questions. Are we ready? I think so. <laughs> Kelly, I would like to hear from you. <laughs> I don't have boundaries. What boundaries? I just spend that money. Uh, okay, no. Uh, I do actually try to set myself a salary if I can. So I work out what my household expenses will be. I work out what I want to do to go have fun, treat myself a little bit. And then beyond that, it's all savings. So in good months, then I'll save more. In not so great months, then it's just a little bit less. But at least I know I've got that buffer. That's a very good approach. I think we should enjoy ourselves from time to time. What's life without it, right? Yeah. So the other suggestions that I would make also is to have a tool to help you track all of this. So rather than just you know putting a mental sum in your head, you have a tool like the DBS Nav Planner that helps you track your expenses, really monitor your savings, so you know what is sufficient and what is not. 
first up, congratulations, you're gonna get married, it's gonna be exciting, but don't stress about it, we got you, girl. One of the things that people need to take note is to have honest conversations with each other and understand each other's financial behaviour, whether it's spending for small little things or big things, because all those cost money. And marriage is really a marathon, so there's a need for us to constantly keep this conversation going throughout your marriage. Very wise words. Well, have a crack at it, have the conversation, and then let us know what solution fits you in the comment section below. Well, Evie, it was truly a pleasure learning about financial literacy from you. I have literally learned so much. I cannot thank you enough. You're most welcome, Kelly. I'm glad you enjoyed. I really enjoyed the session myself. I'm glad you did, and I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. Now, if you'd like to join in the conversation, or if you'd like to ask Evie something, uh, then leave all your questions in the comment section below. And remember to tune in next month for another episode of DBS Nav Ask Me, me anything. anything. 